Welcome back to another episode of Exponential Africa, where we are in the beautiful city of Prague. Standing with me here today is our good friend, Ray McCauley, who is not the pastor we all know, <laughs> but he is the biotech scientist. Raymond McCauley is the founder of Exponential Biosciences, the, one of the founding faculty at Singularity University, as well as the faculty chair on biotechnology, digital biology. Raymond, thanks for being with us. Thank you so much for having me. So, do you want to tell us a little bit about what is this whole big thing about biotech? You know, you, you talk about it that it's going to be two-thirds of the economy uh, in the future. It's going to be a massive uh, part of the fabric of all of our institutions. Can you just explain that a bit to us? Sure. Uh, right now, you can really make a good case that it's about a third of the world economy. And if you look at all of medicine, all of not just the research, but what we do for healthcare, all of agriculture, and more and more of agriculture is really not just putting a seed in the ground, it's the biotechnology behind it. And then more and more things with sensors, more and more things with actually growing materials that we manufacture today, uh, in incorporating AI in some of these processes. Uh, the, the big deal, and you know my, my whole thesis here, and I know you've heard this before, is we've really mastered this art of reading and writing DNA. We've made biology a digital science. And that affects everything from who we are, our health, how we feed ourselves, how we recycle things in the environment. It's just, it's a, it's a huge deal. And, and, and what does that mean exactly? You can read and write DNA. So what makes us up as humans? Mm -hmm. Every living thing has got, you know, some sort of a, a dictionary, let's say. A little read-only code that goes ahead and it's the kind of thing you want to know, like that ambulance that's running off to help yeah, somebody. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you want to know the person that you're going to help what is their code, like how do they process medicines? Maybe somebody's had a heart attack that they're gonna go help. And so they've gotta go ahead and administer medicine on the scene. And if you know what medicines work and what don't, or what needs six times as much of a, a dosage to work right, this is a big deal. And, and, and that's one example. Really anything from the way we grow our crops to the way we make beer to the way we make fuel, you know, this is all going to come down to do we understand the DNA? Do we understand the plan behind the life? And I mean, you were one of the, f uh, you were part of Illumina, which was, 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 you actually came up with this DNA sequencing, or just, do you want to explain that to us a bit? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm very proud and, and humbled to be part of this team at Illumina where we invented next generation DNA sequencing. And this has been, you know, in the last 10, 15 years. And so I'm now from Illumina. <laughs> I'm not with those guys anymore, but I was a senior scientist there and had worked on both the computer side of it and the side where we did some of the, the nanotechnology, we did some of the protein engineering, uh, and it's, it's a really interesting thing. It's, it's a great example of an exponential technology, too, because you actually have to understand the biotechnology, you have to understand nanotechnology and surfaces, you have to understand computers and bring all those three things together to make this. And so many of these new technologies are fusions or sort of... The you convergence know. of all these, infotech yeah. and biotech are converging. And then we're seeing this explosion of accessibility to this, to this biotech industries. But I was fortunate enough to go to Raymond's lab called BioCurious, which is an open source biotech lab where you get to play with all this incredible uh, technology, this lab equipment. BioCurious is something I co-founded with five other people. We uh, actually have a huge crew of volunteers that runs that from day to day. Amazing uh, space. And one of the two big things that we do there is this educational mission. We want people to understand how does biotechnology work? How does it affect your lives? Can you go hands on with it? Not just watch a, a YouTube video, which is, is great, but could you go ahead and do it yourself? And we'll show you how to do it. We'll help you build the machines. We'll help you understand it and, 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 and see how it matters to you personally. And that's one of the great things. It's like, we can analyze your genes, but you can also have this, this very personal experience where you taste something. The other side of that is we're trying to make it incredibly accessible to entrepreneurs, people who want to go ahead and, and do the next big thing in biotech, the next big cancer cure, the next big research device. So they don't have to go and quit their jobs and try to go raise money. They can show up at BioCurious, pay a little bit of money, and access millions of dollars worth of equipment. 
Amazing. Have you have you have you biohacked yourself at all? Are, are your kids are biohacked, right? Well, uh, yes and yes, <laughs> a little bit. Uh, biohacker is kind of funny. It's got sort of a, a triple meaning now. Our original meaning is somebody who treats biotechnology like something that you can hack, like a computer hacker, and and do it for for good, not for you know, not, not a black hat hacker, but somebody who likes to develop devices and figure out clever things to do. So that's one. Uh, people use it a lot now to talk about sort of the scary biohacker thing that you would see in a movie and you know a lot less of that really occurs and then the third thing that is kind of a big deal are all these people who are trying to do self-improvements uh, and it's you know drinking the coffee with the butter in it all that stuff some of that stuff really works a lot of it really doesn't and so we try to separate that out wow. a little bit but but yeah I'm actually a biohacker at least in two of those senses so we, we try some different smart drugs, some different enhancements, implants. These are all pieces that people are working on. Wow. Thank you so much for, uh, for, for taking the time. And uh, if you like this episode, make sure to subscribe to more Exponential Africa episodes. And we will catch Raymond McCauley the next time he's in South Africa. Have a great day.